Highlight for today is Mnuchin and Powell are speaking in front of the Senate. We've had something that, that's been interesting that I want to show. This is a daily chart. We had a big run-up yesterday, all right? 4% higher in most of the indexes. Today we opened pretty much unchanged. They tried to make a run at overnight lows twice. And what I said when we were breaking all those moments in the um, late February, early March, during the height of all the volatility and fear for the pandemic, when, you, when you're really weak from a day or two before and prices are low, okay, and you can't seem to rebound and bounce, that means prices aren't cheap. If you're not finding buyers with considerably lower prices from previous sessions, chances are you're not cheap and you're going to sell them off. There was a lot of days like that where late morning and afternoon, that was the case. Today seems reverse of that, which means you had this big run up of 4%, which is a huge move in the indexes yesterday. And you could see it with this tall bar up, testing some swing highs from a couple of weeks ago. And today we open up unchanged and we just kind of chop around unchanged. NASDAQ's a little stronger. And you made two attempts at some overnight lows that were around 30, 31 in the S&P. The longer you kind of take from not like um, testing that and taking back some of the 4%, you could take back some of the 4% and still look strong. But the, the more indicative that these aren't, expensive see prices don't go down unless they're deemed to be expensive price of a t-shirt a car a house so if you're not finding sellers then you're going to have to go up to find sellers and i don't mean go up another 50 points today or another four percent at all just for people be careful that in and of itself doesn't give you a trade just gives you um good structure for an idea playing it from one side you know, location and execution is always the trick, is always the keystone to any idea, strategy, setup. And always allow yourself to be wrong. So if you're, if you're bullish based on that analysis, play it from the long side, but you got to know where you're wrong and where that might change. Now, you got these two guys talking, and generally, in a testimony, when the Fed chair, and this, and this time a Fed chair and the Treasury Secretary are talking, generally when it's over with, you have a big move. I'd like to tell you if it's up or down, but sometimes it's a, a nice rally. It's a relief rally. They didn't say anything negative. Or sometimes they didn't say anything positive that the market was looking for and they break. So just be aware of that. It's really important as a trader. And, and even if you watch this video in the future and they're not still talking right now, there always is important testimony and congressional hearings where important people are talking. The Fed chair does it twice a year and, and everything else. So stay safe. Be careful and uh, know where you're getting out before you get in.